Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to get a light airy edit with the new Transcendent collection. So this is the photo I'm going to be working on today, and this is after my edits have already been done, and then this is the before picture here, and so I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and delete all of these um, actions that have already ran here, and then just throw them in the garbage and start fresh. So the first thing I do just out of habit is duplicating my background layer. Um, that's just so I can make any changes to the face or anything like that that I need to do and they're all saved right here and I have my original I can always go back to. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is sharpen. Uh, the photo is a little flat and not very sharp so that's what I'm going to do first. Um, here is transcendent. I'm going to go in here and crisp is the sharpening action and it's the very first one in this set. Um, if you're using CS, it'll be alphabetical if you're using elements. And I'm just going to hit play. And there it's ran. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And just mask this off of the skin a little bit. Um, oh, let me grab a regular brush. Okay, and with a black brush at 40% opacity, I'm just going to kind of mask this off of the skin a little bit here. Um, just a kind of quick little brush off. I want to avoid any edges of like the nose or the lips or the chin, anything like that. I just want to kind of remove the extra sharpening from the skin. Don't want it to be too harsh. And just run that over here quickly. Okay, so there's that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to sharpen her eyes a little bit more. I'm going to do that by using Selective Sharpen. And this action won't appear to have done anything. i um, just going to tell you what you can do here. I'm just going to hit Continue. Um, this action won't appear to have changed your image at all until you paint it on. Um, as you can see, the layer mask here is black. So what you're going to need to do is grab your paintbrush and set it to white. And I'm going to keep it around 40% opacity. I just want it to be kind of subtle. And then I'm going to sweep this over her eyes. And this image was originally a throwaway, so it wasn't tack sharp. And so this is just kind of bringing it back a little bit just for a, um, an example. And so I'm going to zoom out here. And so there's just a little bit of eye sharpening that might be a little bit too much. I didn't go over the whole eye, just over the um, iris and a little bit of the white. And I think that looks a little bit too harsh on the white of her eyes. So I'm going to grab my black brush and paint that off there. Just sweep it over and kind of let it subtly fade out. There we go. Okay. So then the next thing that I want to do is I'm just going to give her a smoother skin look and I'm going to do that by using smooth skin. So I'm just going to grab that and hit play. Let that run really quickly. And again, it has some instructions. Just hit continue. Um, smooth skin is another one that you have to paint on. So the layer mask is black and it won't appear to have made any changes until you paint it on. So grab a white brush and then just um, I'm going to do this at 40% opacity again. I'm just going to kind of sweep over her skin here and make it a little bit smoother. You can reduce your opacity over freckles and things like that just to keep those vibrant and noticeable. Um, I'm just doing this really quickly here, but you could take a little bit more time to do those things and keep those um, natural elements in your photo. And just quickly sweeping over here, I'm going to move that. There we go. Okay. So there the skin has been smoothed. Um, the next thing I want to do here is add some light into the photo. Um, we can see there's some light over here, but I just kind of want to make it look magical, add a, add a lot more light here. So I'm going to do that with the action called light painting. And this one is another action that you have to paint on. That's the name, light painting. Um, just hit continue, grab a white brush. I'm going to set it. Um, I'm going to keep my 40% opacity here. And then I'm just going to kind of sweep here from the corner. And then I'm sweeping here. And then I'm going to let go and go over it again a little bit closer to her and up towards the corner. Then I let go, grab it again, and just sweep right there in the corner. Um, and you can do this as much as you want for your taste, whatever you like. I'm also going to sweep a little bit over here um, just to keep it up with that hazy look. And... 
Um, I think I kind of like the, the shadows up there. I might take that out a little bit. So I just flipped back to my black brush and um, I add a little bit down here too. And you can always um, come back to this layer later if you need to. It'll be there. Um, the next thing I want to do is kind of brighten her face up a little bit. So I'm going to use Brighten Brush. And this is another of the painting one uh, actions. So just hit continue. And then um, this one I'm going to do about 20% opacity. I'm going to kind of fill in her cheeks here, sweep over the whole face, and just kind of brighten it up a bit. Um, just as much as it, you think looks good here. And I think I'm going to take it off of her eyes a little bit. I don't want them to lose their shadow. And her eyebrows. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And then the next thing I want to do is just kind of add some contrast and boost the, those colors. So I'm going to use punch to do that. I'm going to grab punch right here and hit play. And that kind of increases that light and gives it a little bit um, more life. And then for extra color, I'm just going to go with contrast pop and hit play. And that boosts those shadows so you still get those rich tones. And then I kind of want to fill in these highlights here, get them a little bit creamier. So I am going to run partial. And that's in the matte action section. They're kind of sectioned off here for you to see. I'm going to run partial. And there, that kind of just adds that creamy look to that light. And then to boost the creaminess even more, I think I'm going to go with Riviera. And that's in the creamy actions section. And hit that one and hit play. And there, that's pretty creamy. So I think I'm going to reduce the opacity of this one down to about 80 uh, somewhere around there. There we go. And then I'm going to mask this one off of her face a little bit. I don't want her to lose her detail. So my brush is at 20% and I'm just going to sweep this off of her skin a little bit here. I just don't want her to lose her color. Um, I also think that, here, hang on, let me find where it is. Um, Brighten brush maybe. Yeah, I'm going to take some of Brighten brush off of her features here. I want her eyes to stay nice and dark and punched up. So I'm going to reduce the opacity there. So I just selected the Brighten Brush mask and I'm just going to go over these shadows a little bit more, bring those back over her nose here, her lips, and even here along her jawline. I just want to keep that those shadows there and keep it looking rich. And then you have a little bit more dimension. It goes from those nice shadows to the rich, creamy skin. And I think that works a lot better. Okay. And then after that, I just kind of want to boost it a little bit more. So I'm going to run Slight Boost. And that's up here in the Image Adjustment section. Um, let me find it. There it is. Slight Boost. And hit Play. There, and that just kind of pops those shadows a little bit more. And so then you can see we went from our before picture here to our after. Just a lot of light. You can even come to this light painting layer and turn it down a little bit if you feel like it might be too much. Um, and that way you just keep that nice, airy, infused light look. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this was using the Transcendent Actions Collection. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.